<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, American Pro Wrestling here in the Coliseum. We got a battle royal for a brand new belt that's coming here to American Pro Wrestling. They're going to be every every superstar that's here in American Pro Wrestling tonight is going to be in it. And the last man eliminated is going to walk away with this title. So stay tuned. Ladies and gentlemen, good, a good way to get started. Hello and welcome to American Pro Wrestling. Each and every Saturday afternoon right here on Facebook. 1 p.m. we're opening up Battle Royal for the Internet TV title. We, this is a... Opening match, winner is TV champion. People have been dumped over that top rope rapidly. We're down to our final five. Put everybody in there. Duking it out, and there goes Big Aaron, Mc, Aaron McClure. Oh, Nick Fury's out of there. That'll leave Joy Reimer and Harlow Heights. And they gotta know it's not a uh, it's not a uh, a handicap match here. Mm. All right, it's an onslaught right here. This man's putting up a heck of a fight. All right. Whoa. Joey Reimer is your TV champion. APW TV champion fan. Internet TV champion. First one crown. Reimer gets the belt. Wow. Good way to start off. American pro wrestling. Ice cream truck, you see, you step into our world tonight. You talk all this smack thinking you can beat us in a hardcore match. When in all actuality, tomorrow morning, you're going to be begging Jesus for mercy at the hands of us. Ha <laughs> ha! APW, Saturday night, fight night. Tonight is the night we find out who is the better tag team and there's only one answer to that freaking question and it's ICT we've been done wrong we've been screwed over we've been put through all kinds of crap we're not taking it no more there's no more singing to the kids throwing ice cream out no 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 more of that all there is now is ass kicking and when we get out to that ring, Outlaws, you're going to find out what hardcore is when ICT comes to town. So APW, get ready. 
Cause Saturday fun night fight night starts now. All right, this will be a hardcore matchup with Brian Bullet. Brian Bullet. Chris James, the SDS Outlaws, taking on ice cream truck. Just squeaks the clown and dump truck. Got a big addition, APW, right here, fans. We don't want to miss out every week. Go to Facebook, American Pro Wrestling Facebook, and you'll find us. This is a hardcore match, so anything can happen. Meaning there's not uh, any kind of rules in this thing. Come out of nowhere. Knocked his head off. Man, listen to the dump truck yelling and hollering. This is a uh, hardcore match, too, fans. Basically, no disqualification. And it means that you can use any type of objects that you need legally oh. kicked him in the mush uh. All kind of stuff flying in a ring. And this is what a hardcore match looks like. All kind of stuff flying in and out that would normally constitute a disqualification. And look at the, the violence level in this match is unheard of. Speaks using a fan on the outside.
Man, they're inside, outside. All over the place. And that's this James and dump truck still in there. They're outside the ring, chair being thrown in, all kind of, all kind of stuff thrown in. <laughs> Brian Bullet has a chair set up. Well, it could be ugly, ugly. <laughs> and they're continuing to brawl all over the place. <laughs> right into a chair. Head first. That's uh, a two count. In the meantime, Chris James and Dump Truck fighting all over the place. They're everywhere. They're all over the APW arena. See if we can't get some semblance back together here. Bullet and squeaks the clown, clown duking it out. They're everywhere, man. They're all over the place. See if we can find these guys. Man, I tell you, this is rough. Look at that nasty chair shot. Well, we still got things flying all over the place.
objects and chairs and and you name it. Wait a minute, gotta Chris James hitting dump truck with a garbage can. Making a mess over on the other side. Pull it, squeaks, duking it out. Oh man, he just hit a garbage can on the outside. Chaos. This is wild. I mean, this is totally just out of hand fighting. Well, that's basically what a what a hardcore match is, and it's way out of hand. Hold on a second. Chris James is up near a ladder. And if he does jump off, he's going to land on a sound stage. Jump off finally. God. <laughs> and I guess we're trying to get everybody back to some sort of where we can get them back in the ring. I don't know what we can do here. I hear things sound like they're busting and breaking and oh, hold on. Sorry fans. Terrible camera angle. I knew that we could and yes I didn't mean to do that. Bullet has a walking stick. Uh, uh, I got the squeaks in the leg. Man, this is crazy. 
That's going to leave Chris James in there. Brian Bullock squeaks in there. Can't probably stand up. Dump truck on the sound stage. Hey. This is out of hand. This is this is what you're gonna see if you come out every Saturday night with American Pro Wrestling. Like I said, take a look at it at home, it's fun. You will enjoy it, and I guarantee you it will. But you come out here every Saturday night, you'll be coming back again. This is what it's all about. And we will be bringing, we will not be cutting away from main event matches. Oh gosh, if he can, he's gonna kill those two chairs. Oh Lord, what kind of mess is that? Goodbye chairs. Right in the gut. And that will do it. <laughs> Chaos and Carnage, hardcore wrestling, and Bullet and Chris. Brian Bullock, Chris James, your winner. And we're gonna hold it right here for a second. See if we can't get the dump truck up. And ladies and gentlemen, we will be back after this commercial break. Whoa, 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 Vance, we just came back real quick. This is what you missed. During a commercial break. Fans. Oh my goodness. We took a break. But kept the uh They recorded going and Squeaks the Clown has turned on. Squeaks the Clown has turned on Dump Truck. And again, we're in shock here. We don't. We need some help, though. You suck, Squeeze. What are you doing? You
is the first correct thing you've done in professional wrestling. I like it. I think you're dumping that trash in the middle of the ring. That fat gelatinous sound. You can't breathe. You can't do anything but take beatings. And I'm going to tell you folks, personally, it warms my black little heart to see. How about you, Billy? Does it warm your heart? Yeah, it does. It warms his man's heart. You make socks! Make socks! Make socks! Make socks! So he squeaks. Make it tight. Admire your work. Admire your work, son. That is a painting. That is a masterpiece of what a beatdown is supposed to look like. Oh, God, that sucks for you. So he squeaks. I tell you, I like what you've done so much here. I'm going to make you an offer, squeaks. I'm going to make you an offer. Allow me to give your life purpose. Allow me to show you the proper path. Shut up! Allow me to make you the greatest big man this company's ever seen. Squeaks, you're six foot three. You're 430 pounds. You are the biggest, meanest monster in this game. You don't need their cheers, Squeaks. Come and join me. Billings, show him what we're off. Now with this one, I only have one requirement of you to join corporate leaders. I have one requirement. And every person you get in that ring with, you beat down person. You take no court. And I'll tell you what, why don't you do me a favor? Oh, that would be great. professional wrestling fan check out the high spots wrestling network hours and hours of the best pro wrestling on the planet streaming on your phone tablet pc and available on roku thousands of videos all the top indie promotions so what are you waiting for champ head over to www.highspotswrestlingnetwork.com and check it out today hashtag hswn it's the best 9.99 in the biz Man, oh man, look at this guy. Hey man, this guy's nine years old. 
Look how big he is, man. You know why? Because he's reading my book. I got all the instructions how to become a professional wrestler. That book right there weighs three pounds. His biceps are just burning up right now. Hey, 600 pages, hardback, brother. And it's called, Woo, Messy Daddy. Welcome to my world, the Jimmy Valiant story. Hey, I talk about everybody in the last 50, 60 years. I got stories about them. To order your copy of Woo, Messy Daddy. Welcome to my world, the Jimmy Valiant story. Go to jimmyvaliant.weebly.com. Oh, yeah. Feel good, feel good. Woo, Messy. That's right, Pippin. It's yours truly right here live in Boiling Springs. American pro wrestling, as I do it always, I keep it big pimping, and tonight is no different. You see, tag team action, me and my newfound partner, Jay Stunner, we're going to get in some tag action, and we're going to kick some more teams' tail, just like we did last week, and tonight... We're just going to keep it pimping like always. Hey, you might want to even check out the International House of Pimping. That's right, the IHOP, not pancakes. I said pimping, pimping. Get it right. Tonight, Cat Daddy, Jay Stunner, check us out, pimping. All right, we've got tag match right here coming up. It will be... Cat Daddy and Jay Stutter taking on the tag team of Harlow Heights and the Black Phantom. Our first look at the uh, that's the Black Phantom. Yeah. All right, we got an arm ringer twist. And it's Harlow Heights who gets the Upper hand on Jay Stunner. Ooh. Ugly, ugly. Forearm smash. Jay Stunner gonna take out the the cat daddy. Yeah. Oh, both of these teams, I think, are pretty new. Dropkick. All right, Harlow Heights. Stepping on him and choking him too. Giving him a fit. It looks like Cat Daddy in trouble, too. Cat Daddy in bad shape. Not looking good here at all.
This is a lariat. Back elbow. Punch. And the black phantom crashes. Tell you what, this guy's got a lot of height. And no pun intended with Harlow Heights. But, uh, pretty tall guy. <laughs> a solid. I don't know what he is. But 260, 270. Those guys in a struggle. Jay Stunner, I think, got his eyes gouged. <laughs> got his leg smacked. A leg drop. Inside step over to hold. Otherwise, that would have been on the reverse angle going into a spinning toe hold. And that's why they call me the doctor of professional wrestling. I know this stuff A to Z. is tagged in. Not enough authority with that on a uh, suplex attempt. Drop kick. Baby grazed him. Across the barricades. They're brawling and brawling and brawling. Jay Stunner got a tag, he does. <laughs> Good double team. Got a scorpion.
Wrong corner. They're still arguing with the referee. He's got to get himself together. And he does double tag. Well, let's see. The Phantom and Cat Daddy come in. Harlow takes a power slam. Like Phantom going from right into the neck breaker. Hi, everybody. I'm Rhonda Bragg, and I'd like to invite you to come on down to American Pro Wrestling every Saturday night bell time 8 p.m. Doors open at 6.30. Bowling Springs, South Carolina, 122 Builders Court. We are social distancing for right now and mask required for right now but maybe not always. So come on down to see us every Saturday night. American Pro Wrestling. Come on down for lots of fun. On Saturday night when I need some protein, I come down to Kurt's Kitchen. Fill my vittles, cause this is the place to be. Man, he gave me a sausage dog and that thing was better than sugar. Chief J Eagle, Saturday night, come watch me fight, but pick me up on Saturday evening at Kurt's Kitchen. So tonight's the night, American Pro Wrestling. I got big, bad Aaron McClure. Aaron McClure, I want you to know you're like one of them bullies in the schoolyard. Somebody just needs to take out back and beat the hell out of. Well, tonight, you're in luck, American Pro Wrestling. I'm your guy that's going to do that for you. So, Aaron McClure, I want you to know a few things. You and I got in the, the ring a few weeks ago, and you came out on top. But tonight, it's going to be a different story. Because I want you to know something, Aaron. I've been around the Carolinas, one of the top guys for over 20 years. And just quite frankly, you ain't got what it takes, buddy. Tonight, American Pro Wrestling, expect an outcome of Nick Fury with his hand raised high, just like that. Whether it be Nick Fury, Kilgore, Dump Truck, Tyler Storm, Damian Legion, bring them can't stop me now, it won't ever stop. Oh, 
Man, this ought to be a knock down drag out. Grab your chair. Well, well, well. Hey, I got the freak daddy with me. How you doing, Danny Paris? It's good, good, good to, to see you. Good to see you. Well, as you can see, we got Nick Fury, somebody I know a lot about. We got Nick in the ring taking on Aaron McClure. Danny, this should be a great matchup. You know, uh, both of these guys wanted rematches. Well, you know what, Aaron McClure, he's one of the biggest, toughest men in APW. And Nick Fury, he's a fan favorite. He's been around for many years. If anybody knows about Nick Fury's toughness and skills in the ring, it's me, Danny. You watched us grow up in this ring. These fans, they're behind Nick, but you know, a few of them like Aaron too. So we got a split crowd here. Like I said, this is an exciting matchup for us here at APW. I'm glad to see that uh, people are watching us each and every Saturday, 1 p.m. on Facebook. Our crowds are seeming to increase. Yeah, I'll tell you what, this day and age to get APW out, you know, we've been here, the longest running promotion, you know, that's our claim to fame. Chief Jay Eagle and Rhonda, they have a great establishment here. We got a great thing going. We're just glad to get our product out there and glad to show everyone what American Pro Wrestling has to offer each and every week. Well, this is a platform I'm going to tip my hat on. It's, uh, a lot of people were trying to explore internet TV, and I saw some that were broadcast and even overseas and in the U.S., and I said, hey, with the blessing of American Pro Wrestling, I think I can help these guys do this, and I'm just glad that we're back on some form of television. Yeah, me too. I'll tell you what, as a, as a guy... Uh I've been in this business 21 years. There's nothing like coming from Bowling Springs is my hometown. What we do here to be able to get our product out. And, Danny, I've always been a fan of what you've been able to do here at the Thank commentary you. desk. You know, there's a lot of great things in the works here, and I, I'm very excited. we got a lot of great stuff in store over the next few weeks for all you guys. we got one or two veterans headed back into the area, too. Well, Danny, who is that? You got must have the scoop. I, I'm, you know. Can't let that cat out of the bag. Oh, okay, okay. So, see, guys, like I said, we got a lot, a lot of stuff coming up here. And, you know, not to take nothing away from what's going on right here, we got Aaron McClure and Nick Fury battling it out. It seems they're kind of filling each other out here in this uh, beginning moments of the matchup. Aaron McClure seems to have the upper hand on Nick right now. I'll tell you what, if these fans get behind Nick Fury, then he's going to be very, very hard to defeat tonight. One, two, three, four. Aaron McClure, uh, here a while back, we've made an error on one TV sh show as he, as he beat the daylight inside of Kilgore 99, but he lost the match, and I thought he actually won the match. And we apologize for that, but all he's been doing is trying to hurt people left and right. Well, I'll tell you what, when you got as much size and aggression in you like Aaron McClure, it, it's very, very hard not to, to let that out. He knows that he's the biggest man in APW. He knows he's one of the strongest men in APW. As you can see, Nick Fury, a veteran of the squared circle, he has all the talent in the world, but right now he's fighting from underneath. He's just trying to get his strong, trying to get his feet under him, trying to get a stronghold back where he can get an upper hand in this match, but that's going to be very, very hard to do up against Big Aaron McClure. Well, you know there was a famous big man uh, match uh, many, 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 many years ago. And we didn't, we weren't there to film because David knocked out Goliath. Well, that you know, that's a perfect right here. It's David versus Goliath, and it seems to me, Danny, what would you call this move? It's kind of like a. I don't know, would we call this a key lock, or what would this be, a modified? I'm not sure, Danny. If he was sitting with his weight on him, it would be more like a scorpion. You know what, that caught me off guard. Aaron McClure, not really known for his submission wrestling. He's usually known for a smash and pound kind of guy. You know, very interesting. That right there shows you the technique that Aaron McClure has. He's not just big and strong. He can actually wrestle, guys. He's trying to take the... Uh Trying to take the legs out from under Nick Fury is what he's trying to do. 
Well, I'll tell you what, he's done a very, very good job of controlling this matchup. I myself have been in the ring with Aaron McClure. You know, like you said, going back to the David versus Goliath thing, it's so hard to take a man like that off of their feet. It is so hard to get a man like that down. But if you get him down and you get him off his feet, that is where you can capitalize. But right now, Nick Fury is having a very, very tough time in this matchup. As you can see, Aaron McClure with the big chops in the corner. Nick Fury never wanted to give up. Firing back. As you can hear, the people's behind him. Nick Fury chops, forearms. He brings the big man out, European uppercut, and that rocks him, Danny. He got him in trouble now, maybe. And like you said, Aaron McClure, right back to it. We just said he has all the wrestling skill in the world, but yet, you know, he takes a page out of my book. He goes for the eyes. You know, Aaron McClure, all he has to do, use his size. Right now, he is in total, total control of this matchup. And they're on the outside now. This is not where Nick Fury wants to be. And by the way, I think a while back they wrestled and McClure beat Nick Fury. Well, I'll tell you what, that right there is reason enough. I've known Nick long enough. I've been in the ring with him many times. If you have a victory over him, then he is wanting to get that victory back. He is wanting to win tonight. Another huge open hand chop, and you hear it ring out the American Coliseum here. I'll tell you what, Nick Fury, woo, with a firing chop. And another one. And now Nick Fury with the eye poke. Hey, all fair is love and war. And another one, Danny. Nick Fury doing what he has to do to get advantage of the big man. They're brawling big time. Right into the steel ring post. And I'll tell you what, that ring did not give any. Aaron McClure is down for the first time in this matchup. The ref steady trying to gain control. I don't know if he's going to be able to get control of these two athletes here. Referee Albert Carswell. Glad to see him back. You know he drew a tough match to referee on his first few back, Danny. Nick Fury, the chops are working, slowly working the big man down. Aaron McClure has his second win now. The matchup cannot be won outside. He has to get him back in the ring very smartly, rolling him back into the center. Aaron McClure taking his time. Boom. Yeah, that's a lot of weight to come down on your back. Nick Fury's down. As you see, and this is some sort of uh, a modified camel clutch. Oh, just raking the forearm across his eyes. Trying to embarrass him, I think, now. I'll tell you what, Nick Fury is worse for wear here. And I'll tell you what, I think these fans are in shock, Danny. These fans are not used to seeing Nick Fury get treated this way. Nick with a kick. You see the fans going back and forth with Aaron. That just gave Nick an opening. Big boot right to the face. Like I said in the beginning of this matchup, the key is getting the fans behind Nick Fury. If these fans can get Nick fired up, it's going to be very hard to stop his momentum. Bear in mind, though, Aaron McClure can be beat. But what do you pay for it in the, in the process? That is the million-dollar question. Aaron McClure can be beat, but what will you have to endure? What will your body have to endure? How much time will that take off of your career just to be able to beat big Aaron McClure? I'll tell you what, Nick Fury, he looks and he's showing some signs of life now, and that's the smartest thing you could do, Danny, is start chopping the big man's legs out from under him. Yeah, if you've if you got a tree you want to cut, where do you go? At the bottom. That's exactly right. Nick Fury... Showing his ring awareness. And Aaron McClure right back to the eyes. Every time Nick Fury gets an opening, Aaron McClure shuts him right back down. Right. Man, he's going to just squash him right on the back. Wow. 
He's just smushing the life out of him, Danny. This guy's a good 400 pounds, city. Yeah, yeah. It's no easy day in the park with Aaron McCord, that's for sure. He's just looking down at Nick, telling him to get up. Yeah, he's going to hurt him bad. It's very, very interesting to look around this arena and see these fans. They're very shocked. They're not used to seeing Nick Fury get manhandled like this. Here he goes. Could he be looking for the blockbuster? This is one of his signature maneuvers. Oh no, high cross body. That caught him off guard. Only a two count. He's got to hook the leg. He has to have every bit of leverage that he can get on those covers. That cross body seemed to really knock the breath out of him too. Um, that being McClure. And he, McClure called the ref over. What was that, Danny? I believe that the ref was paying attention to Aaron McClure and he got in some kind of, what that is, a low blow or something. I see Nick Fury holding his groin area. I'm not sure what happened there, Danny. Was that in the kidneys or was that below the belt? I believe that was below the belt, Danny. He took Nick down very quick. I'll tell you what, he got a fast one over on the referee right there. And that right there, Albert Carswell has been out. He has not been refereeing matches, and that right there shows that he's been out of the ring. He was able to let someone get one over on him. I'll tell you what, Aaron McClure, he has all the dirty tricks up his sleeve. And he's going to take advantage of it, especially with a returning referee. This is the big splash in the corner. Went for like an elbow and nobody was there. Nick's out of the way, hits the knee. Big bulldog. Man, bulldog. Here he goes, cover. Only a two, he's too close to the ropes. This man's so big, Danny, he can literally just reach out at any, he's always at the ropes. Like you said, this is, it's gonna be so hard to put Air McClure down for the one, two, three. I wonder how loud here could, can Nick Fury body slam him? I'll tell you what, I don't know of many men that could body slam Aaron McClure. I would love to see it. Nick is the only person that knows his own strength. It's amazing what we can do in this ring sometimes. Nick Fury with a big clothesline, and now you hear the crowd come alive at the American Coliseum. That's right, and they know that he's got uh, Big McClure in trouble. Both men are outside right now. The matchup cannot be won outside. They have to get back in the ring, Danny. These men, when they go outside, they are looking to hurt each other. Nick with a big open hand punch. And the referee's up to a six count now. Good, good counted out. Well, I'll tell you what, if they're not careful, that's exactly what's gonna happen. And there it is, Danny. It is. These men do not care about the rules of a wrestling match. They want to hurt each other. They want to maim each other. These men are looking to inflict punishment. And it seems the referee's lost control. Danny, I don't know if he ever had control of this matchup or not. At points he did, at points he did not. Uh. Might need to get some people out here to... I tell you what, to, yeah, there's not too many guys going to come rush and try to get in the middle of Aaron McClure and Nick Fury. Yeah. I was about to say nobody coming to, to separate in a hurry. Nick uh, Fury left walking. Mm. As you can see, we got, this is not finished. This is not finished, Danny. We got more coming up later. this Nick Fury uh, Aaron McClure get in a brawl the match is over this match is done Chad Colts in the middle of them and it looks like uh, McClure are going to run from it. 
Man. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Chad Cole, Commissioner of American Pro Wrestling, and I'm here to let you know about our TV program on Internet TV on the APW Facebook page. Every Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock, we're going to have some great action. Welcome to the show, and hope you enjoy it.
You know, on Saturday night, there's always some trouble going on here at American Pro Wrestling. And I know about them perfect storm guys. So I'm looking for a partner. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, kid. What you got going on tonight? Chief J. Eagle needs somebody to watch his back. Are you the man? Chief, I have your back tonight. Well, he said he had my back. If he comes back, I got a partner. I'm looking for you, boys. Y'all be ready. APW tonight. AJ Frost and Tyler Storm has a tag team match against against. Wait, what's his name? Should be like Old Yeller because you know what? His time in this ring is over with. It's time to take care of all this old has-beens and get rid of. See, Eagle, the Colonel gave you an offer to join the new standard. Talking about how all these white people took your land and everything, but you kind of haven't gave him an answer. So the Colonel's a very impatient man. And let me tell you, when that Colonel gets impatient, he causes two guys to handle his business. So tonight, we're going to take you out back like old yellow, and we're going to put the final shot to your head and end your career. And, Jet, I'm sorry, you're just an innocent bystander. Very well said, my friend. Very well said. Tonight, it's simple. I'm not going to get aggravated. We're going to stay calm, and we're going to stay cool because this is going to be a breeze for the perfect storm. We're here, APW is back and going, and we're here to reclaim our spot. The tag division is ours, and nobody is going to stop us, especially not some old man and not some greenhorn rookie. You're looking at the killer, and you're looking at the vet, and we're here to do our business. Man, we're ready. Jet Morris and Chief J Eagle, who uh, I don't know if you can trust him. They're a team here against the uh, the perfect storm, AJ Frost and uh, Tyler Storm. Wonder if you can uh, trust Jay Eagle though. Lately, he's been acting kind of off the wall. So good. Eagle. AJ oh, yeah. hit him with the elbow. He's trying to uh, give him everything he's got. Eagle with a backdrop, body slam. And clearing the ring. Uh, 
AJ comes in the ring. And Jed Morris with a punch in the midsection. Tell you what, man, it's something else right here. By the way, uh, Dusty Money stripped her the APW World Heavyweight title. Don't think they had a joist on that though. He had waited, waited, waited an awful long time. Tyler Storm is up. Man, he just got chopped. And Eagle kicked him at the same time. Receiving a chop. Alright. Uh, Jet Morris is coming in. All right, oh, backbreaker. Talk about old school. Eagle lately has had some problems with a few people that's been wanting to get more bigger cheers. All right, AJ, I'm doing a number on Jet Morris. Uh, oh, Jet Morris goes down after a collision. Couldn't get a tag, he really needed one. Big D and a neck breaker. That was just a uh, sheer coincidence that he couldn't get to that tag. And Jed Morris does need the tag, bad. Oh, 
double team could it be? Yeah, we got it. Eagle took a shot. Man. Got him from a rear angle head scissors. Could easily slip us into a choke. Gotta be about nine minutes or so in this match. Jet Morris needs a tag. Tyler Storm. AJ coming in to attack. Double team. Jet Morris are your winners. And, uh, well, so far, Jay Eagle is. Trying to stay good. Is wrestling fixed? Bill, I didn't even know it was broken. Is wrestling fixed? Well, Bill, I didn't know it was broken. Is wrestling fixed? I didn't even know it was broken. Tonight? Tonight? Tay Holiday versus Damian Legion. Four up, one down, baby. Fans, this will be interesting. Kid Holiday to take on Damian Legion. Oh, 
Listen to this crowd, they're just giving Damon and Legion a very hard time. These two are talented. These two are super, super talented. And uh, I see what tremendous competitors. And Damian Legion making a run for it so he can slow down the momentum. Reverie is just watching and seeing what's happening. Kind of like a calm before the storm. As you know, they're going to cut loose here in a minute. Pump handle and uh, Damian Legion having some troubles. Uh -huh. Man, from a uh, angle of the wrist, he does an arm drag. Uh, a little bit of uh, European flavor to it. Uh -huh. Speaking of which, Legion. Studies the American style and the European style quite a lot. <laughs> Tried to move out of a hammerlock, got back into it. See, trapped him, got him on the canvas.
Good holiday as his man on the run. Forearm smash. The elbow to uh, Damien Legion. By the way, I have three quick hellos. Former uh, comrade commentator Gene Restaino in Maryland. Hello, look forward to seeing you again one day. My uh, editor and uh, exec executive producer, Dean Miller out of Woodruff, South Carolina. And the producer of it all that puts us right here on the area is Michael Elliott. Hello to you guys. And thanks a lot to each and every one of you because without you watching, we wouldn't go through the trouble of what is a lot of trouble to put, put this on the air, but I think it's paying off. Maybe in Legion security guard is interjecting. Oh, and by the way, fans, uh, not only do we have the vacant built up soon. But also, Joey Reimer, the APW Internet TV champion. One. One that uh, uh, won the uh, Battle Royal earlier tonight, so. I'm getting all over Damien Legion. Kid Holiday trying to get up and out. Uh, fans, I'm sorry if I feel a little distracted. We've got some very bad language going on around here. And please, if you come to the matches and you got your kids and your wife, wait till you get home to cut some out. Mm. Mm. 
All right, Damian Leach is trying. Can't do it. Get holiday and Legion going tit for tat. Backcracker. Oh, wait a minute. Here's the. They've been leading the new security guard on the apron. From a sitting basis. He hits a hurricane runner. Well, let's see if we can't get these two up and see who can pull out a wind. Holiday with a kick, a couple kicks. That's a flipping stunner. Security guard on the apron. That was interference. That was three count. Drop kick. Let's go. Watch out. I think that was a shining wizard. quick but it's uh the Damian Legion with the win hey this is Del Wilkes and I want to thank John Toomey for all the great artwork he's contributed to Behind the Mask, Dell the Patriot Wilkes, and also to just the wrestling business in general. Man, you do a great, great job. High quality, first class stuff. And everybody can check him out at toomedrawings.com. Check out his stuff, man. It's world class. Thank you.
Solomon Kilgore, 99, taking on Mr. Saturday Night Joey Reimer, the current newly crowned APW Internet TV champion. Saturday night. He has replaced Dusty Bunny. And this is for the uh, uh, American Pro Wrestling uh, World Heavyweight Championship. This crowd is awake and alive now. Man, look at that. Flying shoulder block. Cut his man a flip. All right, we got a tackle. Oh. Big leg strike. Almost like a lookout. Rhymer, elbow, big kick, and I tell you what, fans, been a long night, and that's why you're hearing me pause. I'm a little bit wore out from these matches, but I've had a, a tremendous time. That's one thing for sure. You come out and see these matches live, you'll get a good night's sleep afterwards. Rhymer spins his man around, side suplex, backslash, Sinson. He jumped in the air and hit him with that backsplash and uh, got him in trouble.
lady ringside get involved. Oh. Rammer thinks about a plunger. Doesn't do it though. He doesn't do it. Man, they're all, all over the floor too, like earlier. They brawl all over the building. Not as not as bad as uh, not as bad as Dick Fury and Aaron McClure, but. I got a feeling that is going to, uh, that's going to get ugly. get slowed down and all of a sudden they really fire up. Her can run a and a drop kick. He missed. James, man, terribly loud, back suplex. Joey Reimer was a pump handle and the upper upper arm version of the abdominal stretch. All he doesn't have is the leg grapevine. And uh, got him on that colonel, that turnbuckle. Man, he must be thinking about me, the colonel. Just popped into my head. I understand he's under the weather. Good, good well wishes to you, my friend. And he does have a few.
modified version of a pancake, flapjack. The official just got crushed. A backward swinging bulldog. And here comes Damian Legion. With a kick right in the mush. time we got this week. Be back here next week, fans, for more exciting action from American Pro Wrestling. Good night, everybody.